Hi guys, my name is Jane and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So last month I was planning on giving my boyfriend a sweater for our anniversary and I finished it. At first I wanted to knit him a pink sweater but when I showed him the colors he chose his color instead. This is how it looks. I gave this to him and told him to like try it on but um, I just don't really like the overall fit on my boyfriend plus I like ran out of yarn this is my original color and I ran out of yarn so I bought the same color but it ended up being a little bit darker from the original color so I have like a block of different color here. This is the original color and this is the second color that I purchased. So I was thinking um, since it's November and it's almost Christmas, today is like 25th, I was thinking of unraveling this sweater and just re-knitting it. This sweater actually took me like eight weeks to make just because it's like really huge. He has quite a big build so I wanted it to like fit him properly instead of being like um, too fitted. That's why I chose a larger size but I ended up hating the way it looked on him so Yes, I'm just going to unravel everything and re-knit it maybe in a smaller um, size or in a totally different pattern. Let's get to unraveling. Before unraveling the sweater, I just have to put it on one last time as appreciation for myself for finishing the sweater. minutes so I still have another arm to go and the whole body to unravel which will probably take another two hours second sleeves off it took me 20 minutes so I guess I'm getting better at this <laughs> so I still need to unpick the collar and the bottom ribbing which will probably take a lot a long time because it's all um, it's all Italian bind off It's probably gonna take a while This is taking too long and I'm getting impatient so I am just going to Just gonna cut this This feels wrong though <laughs> So I find out that cutting all these ends that I weaved in for the tubular bind off this makes it easier for me to like pick pick off the um, bind off so um, I'm just gonna show you this is where we're at so for this V there's a V here um, I'm gonna cut the right one okay, so there's 
there's one, there's one. This is what the um, ends are like, so I'm not gonna be able to like reuse this yarn. But that's okay. The bind off is all picked off. Let's get winding. It took me like a while, close to five hours, but I've unraveled everything. And this, these are the cakes that I have. These are the main colors. And these six are the slightly different colored ones. It's a new day and I already made a swatch and this is the yarn is held single um, and knitted and stuck in it with 5.5 millimeter needle and I ended up with 16 stitches and 20 rows for 10 times 10 centimeters I asked my boyfriend what type of sweater he'd like uh, me to make because the first time I didn't ask him and I just kind of make it for him and he ended up not liking it and I also ended up not liking it. He said that he would like the sweater to be a raglan style sweater instead of drop shoulder. And so yeah, I am going to make a raglan style sweater. Uh, the pattern that I'm going to follow is the step-by-step -step sweater by Florence. Um, she has a free pattern in her Ravelry. I will link down her Ravelry down below and she also has this um, detailed tutorial on YouTube if you guys want to follow that tutorial. So the first thing that I need to do, I am going to make the um, size D, the fourth size. Um, it's supposed to have 120 centimeters um, bust af after blocking so yeah I think that would be a good size um, for this sweater needles ready let's get right to it So I've been knitting for around two hours and this is what I got. I finished the collar. It's a folded collar. Let's continue on to the body.
Hey guys, so I finally finished, refinished my boyfriend's sweater. And here's how it looks. It's this red one sweater. I hope it fits better on him because it looks like it would fit him better. It's much smaller than the previous sweater. And I have already whiffed in all the ends, but this is pre-blocked, so it still looks a bit wonky. The only thing I did different was this, um, the decreases on the sleeves. Usually you make the decrease on the sleeve on the same row. These are actually on the different rows. It's on the end of row 1 and on the beginning of row 2. So it looks like it's next to each other. Which it is, but it's not on the same. It's not worked um, in the same row. If you do it like um, the first of row A and the end of row A, you would, you would have like... A slightly slanted decrease um, and I really don't like that so every time I make decreases on my sleeves I always do this I'm going to block this and I'm just going to try it on so I'm, I am going to block this and I'll see you guys after this is all blocked and dried